The health of our children has been a concern, especially over the past year and a half. Alexa talked with one pediatrician to learn what precautions we need to take this fall. We know that COVID-19 continues to be the virus on everyone's mind, but doctors are gearing up for their busiest time of year. Don't even want to say it, the flu season. So what do pediatricians expect this year's flu season to look like? Well, here to talk with us today is Dr. Hannah Lemmerman, a pediatrician with Akron Children's Hospital Pediatrics in Fairlawn, who has some very important information for all the parents out there. Doctor, welcome. Thank you for having me. Yes, yes, I, I, I cringe. I, I literally feel my body cringe just thinking about flu, flu season. It's here. I'm so glad I get to talk about this. Last year, we saw very few flu cases in children. Typically, we see dozens of kids with flu in our office each week and dozens of kids hospitalized uh, at a time due to severe flu. But last year, it wasn't as severe. The CDC reported one pediatric death in comparison to the year before, which had been 199 cases. Um, we know that last year, more kids were um, doing remote school, and there were more COVID precautions that may have helped stem the spread of flu, like masking and social distancing. Okay, well, I, I'm taking that as a piece of good news. What are we expecting this year to be like? Obviously, for the most part, kids are back in school. Right. So flu is unpredictable. But looking at it historically, we know that cases start to emerge in October and peak between December to February. Also, mild flu seasons are often followed by a bad one because if not as many people had the flu, they didn't boost their natural immunity during that season. We also know it's possible to have the flu and another virus at the same time. So there's a possibility that kids and adults could have flu and COVID-19. But there are precautions we can take. Vaccines are a really big help. Kids can get flu vaccines annually starting at six months old. We find that the effectiveness of flu vaccines vary from year to year. But if your child gets a flu vaccine, the chance of getting ill greatly reduces if you are vaccinated. If they do get the flu, it will most likely be a less severe case. We also know that the Delta variant of COVID is hitting children harder than earlier forms of COVID. So we highly recommend that your kids 12 and older get the COVID vaccine. And since kids under 12 are not yet eligible for the COVID vaccine, it helps to have the people around them, older siblings, parents, grandparents, caregivers, all vaccinated against COVID. The CDC confirms that it is safe to receive both both the flu and COVID-19 vaccines at around the same time. Flu vaccines are now available. So now is a great time to get those vaccines. Well, you well talked yeah. to our, 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 our friend or someone biased is saying, ah, you know, I've got a sore throat or I feel like I've got a cold. Maybe we think it's the flu. But can you really break down what is the flu and how do its symptoms differ from COVID so we can recognize it? That's a good question. Influenza is a respiratory virus, it, but it's not the same as the common cold or what people refer to as the stomach flu. Flu usually appears really suddenly and its symptoms include feeling feverish, although not everyone has to have a fever. Uh, typical cold symptoms like runny nose and cough, headache, sometimes vomiting, even in diarrhea. Um, but the difficult aspect of this is that some of these symptoms are also signs of COVID, so you should be prepared to have your family members tested for COVID if they have these symptoms. It's important to remember, too, that flu is a serious illness, especially for high-risk children and adults, uh, such as kids with asthma. Um, even in healthy children, flu can be really serious and can cause secondary infections like pneumonia. So with COVID causing significant stress for the medical community and all our communities, we want families to be as prepared as possible to face illness this, this coming season. Dr. Lennon, thank you so much for your time. Obviously, these are such great reminders as we head into flu season that we uh, can go in being prepared and following that protocol as, as best as possible. So the number to call for Akron Children's for everyone at home is 330-543-1000. And you can also find them online at akronchildrens.org. Thank you so much, doctor. Thank you.